Today we will see the program two of Unit One. So for that, create new web application as we done in U1 P1. Go to the file menu bar, click on New, then Website. Select Visual C# as language and click on Empty Website. You can browse the location where you want to save it and then press the OK. Now as per program, take two link buttons showing new member and existing member. So for that we need one web form. Go to the Solution Explorer, right click on the root file and add new item. Add item as web form and select Visual C# as its language. Change its name as I am changing here U1 P2. Make sure that this checkbox is checked. Then add it. Go to the design part and put one link button here. Change its text attribute as new member. Put one more link button for the existing member. Now, as per program, when user click on new member link button, panel one becomes visible, which having username, password, confirm password, email, CT as input. So for that, we need to put one panel here. And label. Change the text attribute as username. Put one text box here. Put one more label for the password. For confirm password, for the email, now for the. Here we will use drop down list for the city. You can add item in the drop down list by using item properties of the drop down list. Click on add. Add text in the textbook attribute as I am writing here. Ahmedabad. You can add as many value as you want and then click on OK. Now just place one button here. Now as per program, when user click on new member, so double click on new member, go to the .cs file, panel 1 become visible. So for that, when page loads, Panel 1 become unvisible. So for this, write the following code as panel 2 dot visible is equal to false. So that panel 1 will not visible when page load for the first time. And when user click on link button 1 as new member, then panel 1 become visible. Now, when user clicks on existing member link button, then only panel 2 become visible having username and password as input. So put one more panel here. In this panel, add label as username. One more label for the password. one text box for the password and then add just button as for our program set proper property of text box to mask the password so select the text box of the password go to the text mode properties of the password by default it is showing single line 
choose password from the drop down so it marked as password now again double click on existing member go to the page load event make panel to unvisible when page load for the first time and when user click on link button to as existing member then panel to become visible now as per program when user inputs in existing member matches with username is equal to root and password is equal to abcd123 then print gujarat university for five times each in a new row with increasing font size by one each time using code render block as display invalid user or password so for that double click on submit button of the button existing member then write the following code if xbox 5 which is the id of username text box is equal to is equal to root and text box 6 which is id of our password is equal to abcd123 then pre redirect into another web form we will create it later as print message dot aspx else Now, now we need to create print message dot aspx. So for that, go to the solution explorer, right click on root, add new item, select Visual C Sharp as language and web. Name it as print message dot aspx and mark this check mark check. Add it. Then, just for formatting, I am going to write h1 code as code render. Here we need to attach C sharp code here. We will use for loop to print Gujarat University for five times, starting from one to five. Now again, attach HTML code here as size will be dynamic, so we need to use C sharp code here again as I. Now we can debug the program and check the output. Here both panel is invisible. When we click on new member, panel one become visible, and click on existing member, panel two become visible. When I am going to write something here as hello and password and something one two three submit it, it shows invalid username and password. But when I am going to write here as username as root and password as abcd one two three. as per question and submit it then it will print gujarat university for five times so it was the second program of unit 1 thank you